He was the worst of the worst. He was in there on two first degree murder charges. Uh, he was a CRT transport, meaning he had to have more than uh, one transportation officer with him at all times. He had to be double restrained any time he was out of his cell, just because of his, uh, not necessarily just his charges, but his behavior while he was in jail as well, in regards to threat against staff as well as other inmates. So he was the worst of the worst that we have here in Bavard County, by far. Well, it was just like any other story, just a typical day, um, working down the pod. Um, it was actually the end of the day just sorting through the mail, trying to get things in order, because where we are housed, they're the acute housing, so the inmates are all, you know, suicide watches, make sure they don't hurt themselves, so they don't have access to their mail or to any of their paperwork. So I was going through their mail, cycling it to put it in their folders that are assigned to each inmate that's down there. Came across a very large manila envelope. When I flipped it over, the uh, return address was peeled up on it some, so I'm a little OCD, so I smoothed it out to make sure it stayed on there so the inmate would know who it had came from. It also had notated on there that it was uh, legal mail, legal correspondence, um, privileged mail. So I was checking the return address as I was pushing it down, I noticed that it was an Orlando address and I'm a resident of Orlando, Orange County most of my life. So I saw Orlando Avenue, just caught my attention and then I noticed it said Orlando Orlando Avenue is not located in Orlando, it's in another city. Um, further inspection, I saw that the zip code was not an Orange County zip code. Orange County is all 328. This one happened to be a 329. Um, so actually MIMS area of Northern Brevard. Um, so that gave me enough reason to kind of figure there's something suspicious about the package. So I started feeling it, bending it, whatnot. I could tell that there was something, something definitely inside of it. So I peeled open the package just a little bit so I can kind of get a peek inside, see, and I did see that there's definitely something inside. I thought it may be a weapon. I wasn't 100% sure. Um, so I immediately sealed it back up and got on the phone, called our housing sergeant, uh, Sergeant Buttrick. He immediately contacted Lieutenant Dots and our shift commander, and they came down. Further inspection saw that there was a weapon, that there was a gun inside. It was a um, two caliber, uh, a two barrel, uh, 38 caliber Derringer inside, um, cocked back, ready to go. It was kind of, I mean, it's like what you see in the movies. I mean, when they pulled it out further inspection, you could see that it was all carved out perfect for that gun, that it, it was just, it was surreal. It was very surreal. That, that gun went through the mail system loaded uh, with ammunition in the gun and made it here completely to the jail complex. And uh, Robert Lincoln had to be working that day, and, and through his efforts, he was able to save the lives of uh, other corrections officers here in the jail. Further investigation found that he had um, actually compiled a list for himself um, of different deputies um, that were on the list, uh, all the way up to a sergeant and a lieutenant that were on the, on the list. I think it was a matter of whoever he may have came in contact first. Uh, without his attentiveness to detail and being able to find that firearm before it was entered into the housing areas of the Bavar County Jail. Uh, just if that act would have occurred and would have got into his hands, you can imagine whether it would have been another correction officer taken hostage, uh, a correction officer killed, or another inmate taken hostage, another inmate killed, uh, because the intent of this guy was trying to get out of jail and he was going to do whatever was in his means to be able to do that. So without a, a Corrections Deputy Lincoln's attentiveness to detail, and his thoroughness and his work product. Uh, we're very thankful to have him here on staff here at the Pavar County Jail Complex.